In this video, I want to look at finding a specific element inside an array. So first look at the, the call to this method called find. We call method find. We first send through the list, the first parameter. Number of elements does not need to be referenced because it does not change. We'll just simply go through the array. We won't be adding or deleting something from the array. And we say we want to find element 17. Find then returns an integer, which is the position where 17 was found. And therefore we assign it to int pass. Let's revisit the parameters of the find method. First is the list. Second is number of elements, which will not be changing. So it's not a reference. And then we have the wanted parameter. It's typically the one that says we are looking for wanted inside this list. And because this is an array of integers, wanted is an int. The for loop inside this method simply says let's go from the first element to the last element. So we indicate that we will be looking right through the list. But you should have a sense that as soon as we find it somewhere in the list, we wouldn't really need to search further. We'll discuss that in the next slide. Okay, so inside the for loop, we have an if statement that simply says, if wanted is equal to the element at position x, so we found wanted, return x. What does that mean? Return the position x where it was founded. What does return mean? It means we terminate the for loop and we leave the method. So nothing else is done in the method and the position is returned to the calling method. So what does the return minus 1 mean? First thing to notice, it's after the for loop. It's not part of the for loop. So it will only be reached if we had gone right through the for loop from the first element to the last element. Notice that we leave, terminate the loop as soon as we find something. So if we've gone right through the, the list, not finding anything, that means we did not find it. So the minus 1, which is obviously not a possible position, is an indication that we did not find the element in the array. Okay, so let's look at, uh, let's say, the main method where this method was called. The first thing we do here is we say to the user, which element do you want to find in the array? So the user enters a number and it's stored in the variable wanted. Then we call the find method and we send wanted through as a third parameter indicating we find must go and find wanted in this list. It returns an integer which is assigned to pass. Remember we said earlier that if it does not find something in the array it will return a minus one. So the golden rule is every time after calling find we need to say if pause is equal to minus one that means if it was not found then we simply say to the user your element was not found. But if it was found, then we can do something with it. And in this case, we say we want to delete that element. So we call the delete element from the previous video. We send through pause where it was found, and it will delete that element, which is currently at position pause. 